this year is going to be the year where we hear and look into the secrets of God's heart. Mark 14, Jesus sent out two of His disciples and said to them, go into the city and a man will meet you carrying a pitcher of water. Follow him. I'm just telling you, whichever place you find that you are drinking and your thirst, your spiritual thirst is being quenched, follow that ministry. Follow the Holy Spirit. Follow the man who has a pitcher, the earthen vessel full of refreshing waters. Then he will show you a large upper room. And how is it described? Furnished and prepared. In other words, you are entering a finished work. This year, get ready. You experience things that you didn't work for. God will bring you in, into places where you will eat from vineyards you did not plant. You will live in houses full of all good things which you did not feel. If God opens the door, no man can shut. If God brings you, you are broad, brother. You are broad. And when He said this to me, He's telling me, everything to do with the upper room is what I'm going to do this year for my people. Wow. Sit back and watch. The year of living in the upper room. This upper room became the place where He shed the secrets of His heart. It's called the last discourse of our Lord Jesus. No one calls it the Sermon on the Mount. But do you know that this mountain, upper room, is actually on Mount Zion. Every word He says there is spoken to the church. It's spoken to you. It applies today. In that upper room, it's the first time the Lord instituted the Lord's Supper. I don't know how the church has forgotten the importance and significance of the Lord's Supper. As a result, we have been robbed. Look up here. Your number one concern, besides the fact that you need to be saved, is actually your health. So it's the place, the upper room is the place where the disciples were staying and the inauguration of the new covenant was established. And this is where God poured out His Spirit. Come on. This is the birthday of the church. Can I say this? You are royalty. In Luke 22, he says, I vest in you kingship as my father vested in me. The secret of the upper room is this. It's a picture of the third heaven where God's throne is. And you know something? We are all there. And for those who can receive this, this is actually the fulfillment of the mystery of verse 1 of Psalms 91, the Psalm of Protection. He who sits in the secret place, all the protection of God is on him. Because why? You are seated with Christ. But sitting down means what? Authority. And how does a king exercise authority? He speaks. We'll learn more this year. Amen, about our kingship. Let me just tell you something else. That in the upper room is the place of light and illumination. But this year specifically, we got to master, at least spend most of our time reading the Pauline Revelation. 
and then we are able to interpret all the rest of the scriptures, even the Old Testament. Elijah brought the boy in the upper room on the bed. The mother did the same years after in the story of Elijah. Not only that, later on, he embraced him, prayed to God, and God raised the boy. It seems that like it's a place of resurrection. That means your sons and daughters are coming back. There'll be a lot of salvations, especially of young people. I will not discount even raising the dead physically. I won't discount that because I won't put a limit to God. Amen? This is what God's gonna do this year.